Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delicio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Catacombs of Karak, a tiny RPG from Outset Games, ages 7 and up, 2 to 5 players in about 45 minutes. What lies beneath the crumbling walls of Karak Castle? A labyrinth full of treasures and monsters! A band of brave adventurers enter the ancient castle in search of its vast fortune, each with a unique trick up their sleeves. All right, it's a great entry-level dungeon crawler, easy to learn for newbies, yet engaging enough to keep gamers of all ages and abilities entertained. Well, let's take a look inside the box. This tiny RPG intro-level dungeon crawler as it is being built. Here is our rule book, and it is a pretty manageable sized rule book so for newer players that makes sense each player has four actions on their turn they can move enter an undiscovered zone pick up equipment unlocking in a treasure chest or healing and then there's also combat as you might expect in a dungeon crawler here's our contents and our combat health and healing moving and then we've got hero skills here the game ends immediately after one of the heroes defeats the dragon. If they defeat the dragon, they'll get its treasure, but it doesn't mean they've won. All right, so you can't win just by defeating the dragon. You have to be doing some other things too, apparently. All right, well, let's take a look at the components within the box. We've got a number of pre-punched cardboard tokens. So I'm just going to kind of show you the, the array of different things here. We've got our characters, which look to be standees. And I see some plastic standee bases there, so that would bear that out. Let's take a look at some of that character art here. It gives you a pretty good idea. That would be the back and that would be the front. That's kind of nice where they've got the front and back of the different characters. That's a nice little touch. It's not always like that. And there's those plastic bases I was mentioning. These appear to be two standard D6s. They look like it. Wooden. Okay. These would appear to be the character tiles that you would be playing as with their unique powers. Okay. That's nice. A whole bunch of dungeon tiles. And I'm not going to show you a lot of these. We're just going to kind of see so you can get the idea of the art. So pretty basic tile laying to build a dungeon with some iconography. And I'm imagining there's other effects and things along those lines as well. But I don't think we really need to go into all of that. We've got what look to be some monsters you'd pull out of this bag and maybe some treasures as well. So let's just kind of look through some of these. So we've got treasure chests that might be good. Oh, that's, the, that's, that's probably the dragon's treasure. Okay, worth maybe 15 points, I would guess. Or maybe that's how hard the dragon is to kill. I don't know. So you got this little rat here for five. That spider for six. And this mummy for seven. That skeleton's holding a key. I don't know if that's something you would get later, but... All right, well, that gives you an idea of some of those tiles. And then finally, it looks like we maybe have some player boards here. Take a look. Yep, and they appear to be dual layered, which is always nice. I like, I don't know if you can really catch that much on camera. They're, these are dual layered. These are recessed areas where you can put your little tiles that you're getting out of the dungeon and your health tracker. And I assume your character's card's gonna go right there. Makes sense. So you can now see that that is dual layered. All right, well, I think that gives us a pretty good idea of what you're gonna find inside the box of Catacombs of Karak. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.